In this demonstration, we will explore the Style Studio core features for editing XML. XML editors are often considered by casual user a commodity, but if you are spending good amount of time managing XML documents, you know how challenging the task can be. Let's create a new XML document by clicking on File New XML Document. We can now start typing our first element, book. Then we type slash, and the editor closes the tag automatically. We now add a child element, title, and inside we insert a text node, XML and XSLT. Notice that the syntax coloring breaks. It's a warning, something is wrong. A quick click on the Check Well Form button and we have the error details. To get around the error, we wrap our text node with a C data section. Notice that as soon as we indent the document, a minus sign appears in the editor gutter. If we click the entire subtree folds. When we mouse over it, a tooltip appears showing the collapsed content. Content folding is just one of the several features that can largely impact your productivity. I know what you're thinking nice and easy with a small XML document. But what if I get 25 megabyte of XML data? Fair question, let's give it a try. File, open, show details, 25.6 megabyte, just a few seconds and the document is loaded. We still have content folding, syntax coloring, and then we go at the end of the document using keys Ctrl and and we delete the close tag book. Then type close tag again and Style Studio instantly pops up the correct tag name. The text tab is designed to handle large XML data without compromising feature or performance. We now change view and see what we can do on the tree tab. As you notice, the context element is preserved across tabs. The tree tab is an excellent tool for navigating the document structure without the XML syntax noise. The tree tab, like its sibling, fully supports infinite level of undo. We can delete authors, for example, and then roll back using Ctrl Z. In addition, we can evaluate XPath expressions against the document using the XPath view. We can toggle the XPath view by clicking its toolbar button. We can easily build XPath expressions from any element or attribute in the document using the context menu Copy XPath Expression. Once we have the expression in the clipper, we can paste it in the XPath view and test it. Now we change the expression to match any element child of the first occurrence of book. Books, book, and then predicate one, and then slash star. The query result is title, authors, and subject. 
If we click on the result view, the selection on the main document is automatically synchronized. Let's now explore support for namespaces. We we'll switch back to the text tab and we change the default namespace to XML and S equal to URNA. Then we toggle the namespace panel and there we can see the namespace definition and the prefix NS1 that has been created up automatically. When we start typing in the xQuery editor slash we get half suggestion based on the context books, book, title, book ID. The XPath view is a powerful and user-friendly tool that can help you building and test complex XPath expression. At last we look at the grid view, the third visual metaphor for viewing and editing XML documents. The grid view is designed for documents that tend to be few levels deep and considerably structured, like our books example. Repeating element with the same structure render like tables. The grid tab exposes peculiar functionalities like copy as tab delimited for copying data to application like Excel or Word. You can rename a group of elements, editing the table header. For example, we can translate the element name book to the Italian word libro. The column header supports sorting, renaming, and deleting. The grid tab is a, an additional tool in your XML toolbox for reshaping XML content using a familiar metaphor and requires really minimal understanding of the underlying XML syntax. This concludes our demonstration of StyleStudio XML editing capability. For more, visit stylestudio.com.